Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor, and today I started my morning out right. First of all, I do have cinnamon in my coffee, and it's just right. But the other thing is, I literally, I, I had put money that was going to show up in my bank account as of today, and so I literally woke up this morning, reached my arm out, got my phone off the side table beside me, and when I did that, I opened up my bank account, looked at it to see that the money was there, and then I opened up Coinbase and I bought XRP. That is how my day started today. And so that is how you know you started off on the right foot if you added to those bags. Um, okay, In Motion Travel, at In Motion Travel, sent, uh, I don't think they sent me this. I think that it was just a tweet that I saw. Um, it says, please listen up, XRP community, Bitcoin, those new to the market or feeling doubt. News flash: the BTC spikes we've, we've had recently were nice, but nothing compared to January 2018. We nearly hit $1 trillion in market cap. Today, we are still over $458 billion from there. Then he goes on. We will absolutely blow through $1 trillion in market cap when the bulls are officially here. Let's not celebrate too soon. One trillion is nothing, absolutely nothing compared to where we will be when the major FI financial institutions and big corporate businesses declare Bitcoin, aka crypto, safe. And then three, um, with, with, with all the talk of SWIFT, Ripple DLT, and interoperation, SWIFT 1.25 quadrillion Gold, sub, it's really eight, I think it's more like eight trillion. Real estate, I think that that's a gross underestimate. I think real estate's more like 200 and something trillion. Um, but I, if, if I'm right about what he's referring to there. Now, if XRP on DLT could help move 1% of these markets, 12 trillion SWIFT, 70 billion gold, 80 billion ESTA, um, that, that, uh, est, I think he means estimate. Um, that's 12.15 trillion moon 2024. Uh, I don't think it's going to take that long, but he does illustrate the, the overall point that I want to get across to you. And that a, a couple of things. The first being that one trillion, I agree, one trillion is nothing in the scheme of what's of what this is all about, folks. And we and he's right. We're 458 million just away from where our high was in the in the 2017 bull market. And even though we've watched some pretty awesome run up, you haven't seen anything. You got to remember when this, when this market, I, I remember it like it was yesterday because my XRP was on Bitstamp at the time. I did not have a Ledger Nano S back then, but I would look at that app and, and the XRP was going up so fast. The market overall was having literally for, and I'm talking for like three weeks to a month every day. It was like billions per every 30 minute, like 5 billion added to the market. I mean, it was crazy. And this hasn't even begun to get crazy yet because I've always said this one is the, is going to be the big one. The last one was nothing compared to all of the stars that are aligned in this now. And then XRP Neo came in and did a really good tweet. I thought, what if asking the question of whether XRP will succeed or not is the wrong question? What if, and I think he meant the fate, what if the fate of XRP has already been decided? Have you ever in your lifetime heard of any private company being embraced by the IMF, World Bank, central banks, etc.? I want to read that last line again. Ask yourself this question, and this is a, this is a point that I've made a lot of times on this channel. Have you ever in your lifetime heard of any private company being embraced by the IMF, World Bank, central banks, et cetera, et cetera. This is a question that I've asked on my channel before. This is a question that I ask my father, who's in his 70s, um, all the time. I I've gone over this. This has been a theme for the last five or six years. I say, Dad, have you ever in your life seen a company do what Ripple is doing? Have you ever, have you ever in your life seen a private company 
that is worth billions of dollars. Have you ever seen um, the the Have you ever seen a a private startup that's six or seven years old have Ben Bernanke come speak or Bill Clinton come speak at their convention? Have you ever Have you ever seen any of this? I've never seen any of it. My father's never seen any of it. We, and, and here's what else we've never seen. My father and I have both never seen until the financial crisis. We've never seen bailouts. All of this is all everything you're seeing. This is me talking. Everything that you are seeing from the financial crisis until today, there's a lot of surreal things that have gone on. And it all ties together, folks. This is bigger. Ripple and XRP is bigger than just some digital asset that's creating a use case. This is this is all a design. This is a design to solve the ultimate problem. And that is the, the problem that central banks have created themselves. I believe this. I full wholeheartedly believe that this is so much bigger than it, it, anyone really truly realizes. And I know that many of you out there, yo, XRP hasn't moved or whatever. You just sit back and watch. And I'll, and I'm not even going to say I told you so when, when it finally happens, but when it does happen, the things you've seen with Bitcoin, that's chunk change. That's nothing compared to what's going to happen with XRP. And there's not one piece of my being that does not believe that. I've seen enough. I saw enough a long time ago. Um, next, Rand Nooner. Um, he, he does the CNBC crypto trader. Um, he says, don't miss this. Anthony Pompliano di discloses his Bitcoin holdings and sell strategy. We also spoke at length about the effects of Libra. What he really needs to ask Anthony Pompliano, and I'm going to find this out. I'm going to go ahead and announce. I'm going to find out from Anthony Pompliano how big his closet XRP bags are. He is going to tell me personally. I'll, I just have a feeling that I'm going to be able to get it out of him. Um, okay, moving along. Uh, this is this is interesting. Sir, Sir Gordon Gecko at Gordon Gecko 369. Who remembers this? July 7th is all almost here. Now, I don't remember this tweet. Um, this is uh, Yoshitaka Katal, the CEO of SBI Holdings. XRP is already $10. I just have to press the button. Um, SBI will kill competition. I don't, I'm, I'm of the opinion that this tweet may be a fake personally. Um, but it's showing here like it's real. Um, so I was going to show it anyway, just to, just to, in case. Uh, but he did say this, when we launch SBI's virtual currency exchange, it will be number one in the blink of an eye. Well, what happened after this, after he said this, um, is they went through all kinds of testing and, and did a, a, a half launch, but they never really launched. It was put off. And guess when it was put off until July of this year, as in July in a couple of days. Um, so this is big. Um and, and if it does become the biggest exchange in the blink of an eye, just watch what happens with XRP. There are so many shoes that are about to drop. Next from XRP Crypto Wolf, Craig Wright does not have access to Bitcoin fortune. Craig says he can't access hundreds of those, of thousands of Bitcoin worth over $5 billion and claims that he gave a key piece of info for the funds to Kleiman who was, was the guy he was working with. Hopefully he's lying because that's a lot of lost Bitcoin. Now, the fun, here's the funny thing that came in. This guy, I mean, he's obviously got some issues. Um, this is from Michael at VAL 5 Links. Wright reportedly began to cry during this section of the hearing. He also crawled into his lawyer's arms after the testimony and bawled. Said that crypto guy while discussing the case over Twitter during a recess before Wright's cross examination. So, this guy, I've always said this guy's one of the most arrogant people I've ever observed speak. Um, he's got it just plastered all over his face. Uh, but anyway, th I've always thought there was something up with this whole deal. But moving along, um, XRP Crypto Wolf sent this article right here. The International Monetary Fund believes that central banks will issue digital currencies. Several central banks in different countries are considering, imp considering implementing some form of central bank digital currency. They will need a bridge asset. Hashtag XRP. This right here, I believe, is the ultimate 
big picture for XRP. I believe that this is the setup for XRP. I read you a quote from David Schwartz himself, the CTO of Ripple yesterday, where he said, if he was arguing with someone over on Twitter and he said, if there's not going to be a, uh, un if there is going to be another university, a uh, universal settlement asset other than XRP, what is it going to be? And, and he said it in a way that sounded like you, you moron, how, what else is as good as XRP? I mean, that, that level of confidence in saying something like that really struck me. Um, okay. I'm getting a phone call, but I will call them back. Um, and next, um, got this from the crypto utility guy at utility guy seven. Netflix's altcoin documentary could push Bitcoin to $25,000. Now there was rumors of this a while back. Um, but this speaks to pop culture adoption, probably more than most things that we've shown on this channel. But this is about Netflix and how they're going to do a, um, they're already working on it. It's an, it's a, a documentary on altcoins that's going to be coming out sometime. I don't know when, but sometime soon. And when this folks, as much as anything could be something that really spurs a lot of adoption and, and gets a lot of average people. Remember, where are the average people folks? And you're seeing it. You're seeing this happen before your eyes. Where, where, where are everybody on the internet? They are on Netflix. They're on YouTube. They are on Facebook. <laughs> They're on Google and Apple, right? Across phones and, and uh, computers and everything else. Well, go ahead and write it down. The, what you're going to see is you're going to see a digital asset come from Netflix. You're going to see one come from Apple. You're going to see one come from Google. You've already seen Facebook. You're going to see some something come from YouTube. Now think what's what's happened just since the Facebook announcement and imagine all of all that's going to happen from all of these other platforms. And then the, the tweet I read you a minute ago, the IMF says central banks are going to have those. So you're going to have digital assets that are springing up. All these walled gardens are going to come from central banks, banks, all these social media platforms, all the major corporations across the world. Now imagine what happens when XRP, the greatest digital asset ever created, is bridging all of those walled gardens. Imagine all of the trillions of dollars that could flow through that system, folks. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe and hit the like button. And tell your friends and family that walled gardens are going to be popping up everywhere. And XRP is the bridge. Thank you for listening.